Chosen ones, these are seven flaws that actually make you more attractive than you think. Everyone, we are all unique and beautiful, each bearing our own imperfections that make us who we are. Let us not be consumed by our insecurities, but rejoice in the knowledge that these flaws make us authentic and unique, even attractive to others. Perhaps we can meditate on the idea that these characteristics that cause us distress or self-doubt may be viewed as attractive by those around us. Indeed, studies have demonstrated that some of the very traits we disdain are those that others find endearing and beautiful. In recognition and celebration of our individuality, I have curated a list of so-called flaws that people have come to cherish in one another. I invite all of you to explore these qualities with an open heart and consider your own imperfections with love and acceptance. But first, if this message resonates with you, please express your appreciation and welcome the divine love into your life. Should you feel compelled to continue on this path of self-discovery and acceptance, do not hesitate to seek more wisdom and guidance from sources that nourish your soul. Our community is here to support and uplift one another as we embrace our unique beauty and the love of our Creator. So I encourage you to subscribe if you haven't already. Now, let's begin. 1. When you're easily embarrassed. No one is immune from the occasional blushing cheek, the stammered word, or the stinging feeling of embarrassment. At times we may believe that succumbing to these feelings might be a sign of weakness. But let us reflect together on the true nature of vulnerability. As we come to understand this human emotion, we realize that moments of embarrassment illuminate our shared humanity, our imperfections, and above all, our humility. We learn that displaying vulnerability is not to be viewed as a fault, but rather it is an attractive quality of a genuinely likable person. Scriptural teachings and psychological studies alike suggest that those who experience embarrassment can often be seen as generous, cooperative, and trustworthy. In our relationships, such vulnerability invites the possibility of authentic connections, exemplifying our capacity for reliability and loyalty. Consequently, we recognize that those who allow themselves to be embarrassed may be regarded as faithful and romantic partners. 2. When we're being too open. As we journey through life, we come to understand the importance of balance, especially when it comes to sharing ourselves and our experiences with others. Just as we may form connections through our vulnerabilities, our openness holds the potential to create healing and strengthen the bonds we hold dear. Rather than being overwhelmed by the notion of revealing too much too soon, may we pause and consider the value of allowing others to know us at the appropriate pace. This discernment of sharing our lives shall forge intimacy and closeness, enriching the relationships we cherish so deeply. In our pursuit of authentic connection, we must safeguard our hearts from those who may not have our best interests in mind. As we walk this path of openness, let us proceed with prudence and mindfulness, always remaining alert to our own boundaries and caring for our well-being. 3. When you're being brutally honest. As we strive to live with integrity and honor, we face the challenge of being forthright with ourselves and others. At times, our unfiltered honesty may lead to discomfort or conflict, Yet the worthiness of this trait should not be underestimated. For, to be brutally honest is to present oneself in a manner that is true and straightforward, without concealing the reality of our thoughts, feelings and opinions. This authenticity is essential in building and fortifying our relationships, allowing for the emergence of authenticity amid the ebbs and flows of life. Admittedly, there are pitfalls to speaking one's truth without the grace of compassion and understanding we must take care to ensure that our transparency does not serve to mask ill intentions or cause undue harm. With discernment and reflection, may we use this gift of honesty to bring clarity, growth and understanding to our lives, ultimately leading us to the abundant life that God desires for us. 4. When you're feeling a little clumsy. We can become all too aware of our missteps and guffs. But take heart, for when we embrace our imperfections with a spirit of humility and grace, we allow others to see the authenticity of our humanity and draw closer in understanding and empathy. Far from being a liability, our moments of clumsiness or awkwardness can be assets to our lives, allowing others to feel comfortable in our presence and draw nearer to us in times of need. When we approach our mistakes and shortcomings with humor and kindness, 
we can laugh at ourselves and lighten the mood, enabling deeper connections and shared joy. Let us not be afraid to show our vulnerabilities and embrace our human foibles, for we are fearfully and wonderfully made in the eyes of our Creator. 5. When it comes to gossiping. Sometimes we are inevitably privy to information about others. We may hear whispers and rumours that entice us to share with others or to keep to ourselves. While gossip is often seen as a negative habit, we must recognise that there may be times when sharing information can be helpful and even necessary. It is in these moments when we must practice discernment, being sure to walk the fine line between sharing useful knowledge and venturing into destructive territory. By selectively sharing information to protect and guide our loved ones, we show them that we have a genuine concern for their well-being. Yet, let us never forget to approach such matters with wisdom, avoiding careless speech or hurtful actions. 6. When it comes to taking your time. In this world of constant hustle and bustle, it can be easy to feel like we must always be in a rush. We see others around us moving at lightning speed, and we may wonder if we should be doing the same. However, it is okay to take things slowly. There is beauty and wisdom in savouring each moment and taking time to appreciate the little things in life. By not rushing through our days, we can better connect with ourselves and those around us. When we prioritise quality over quantity, we give ourselves the opportunity to truly invest in the things that matter most. Whether it be cultivating deep relationships with a select few or putting in our best effort on a few key projects, we can find more fulfilment and joy in taking our time rather than racing toward the finish line. 7. When it comes to being selectively selfish. It's important to be mindful of how we use our time and energy. While it is good to be kind and generous to others, we must also recognize that our time is precious, and we can't always say yes to every request that comes our way. It is important to be selectively selfish, to prioritize our own well-being and happiness, even if it means turning down certain opportunities or requests. By doing so, we are honoring ourselves and our own needs, which ultimately allows us to better serve those around us. It's okay to recognize that certain jobs, people, or places may not align with our values and priorities. It's okay to choose to spend our time in ways that fill our cups and bring us joy. We must remember that we are the stewards of our own time and energy, and we have the right to use them in ways that best serve us. My dear friend, it's refreshing to hear someone acknowledge and even celebrate their flaws. So often, we are encouraged to strive for perfection, but in reality, our imperfections and vulnerabilities make us all the more human and relatable to others. It's important to remember that we are all unique individuals with our own strengths and weaknesses. Embracing our flaws can help us cultivate self-acceptance and self-love, which in turn can make us more approachable and attractive to others. You are right to be open and honest with those you trust and to take your time in life. These qualities are not weaknesses, but rather show a deep sense of authenticity and respect for your own values and priorities. In a world that often values competition and success above all else, it can be difficult to prioritize our own well-being and time. But you are right to use your time in a way that best serves you and brings you joy. I encourage you to continue embracing your flaws and all that makes you unique. Celebrate your humanity and know that in doing so, you will attract others who appreciate and love you just the way you are. Until next time, have a nice day. So, everyone, the pressure to be perfect is pervasive in our culture, leading many of us to constantly scrutinize ourselves for flaws and imperfections. But what if we reframe these so-called flaws as attributes that actually make us more attractive? This is the message behind this video, which is encouraging viewers to embrace their vulnerabilities and celebrate their uniqueness. The video presents seven common flaws that are often viewed in a negative light, from easily becoming embarrassed to being selectively selfish. However, it challenges us to retain these traits as a positive qualities that can make us more likable, trustworthy, and authentic. One flaw that is 
is particularly interesting to examine is being overly open. While we might worry that sharing too much about ourselves could be a turn off, the video argues that genuine openness and vulnerability can actually build deeper connections with others. Of course, it is important to exercise discernment and ensure that we are not oversharing with people who may not respect our boundaries, but overall, being transparent about our thoughts and feelings can foster intimacy and closeness. Another flaw that the video highlights is clumsiness, which can be a source of embarrassment for many people. However, the video encourages us to approach our mistakes and foibles with a sense of humor and kindness, recognizing that these moments can actually help others feel more comfortable around us. By showing our human side, we invite others to do the same building a sense of empathy and understanding. Ultimately, the message of the video is one of self-acceptance and love. By embracing our quirks and shortcomings, we can cultivate a deeper sense of self-awareness and self-worth, and in doing so, we may find that others are drawn to our authentic selves rather than a facade of perfection. It's a powerful reminder that our flaws are not limitations, but rather opportunities to embrace our humanity and connect with others on a deeper level. So, I hope this video has some meaning to you, and if you find this video interesting can help us by giving it a like and if you enjoy watching this video please subscribe and activate the notification bell so until next time have a nice day everyone